don't understand the uh, the need to flex. Arrested as a fugitive. Are those real headlines? What do we got? What the f What is it? What up, what up, what up, NBA you already know. look like, um, NBA Youngboy. It's like a home video. They look so young. Ain't nobody cleaning that house. I would be so upset if I came home with my son and his friends sitting like that. This just looks like some guys hanging. Where's the uh, production quality in this video here? Drugs. It's a new topic. They got pills all over the place. And guns. How am I supposed to feel here besides sad and disturbed? That was, that was a whole lot. I, I'm not sure. They looked so young. I couldn't focus on the song. I was paying attention to how the house look. And uh, <laughs> as a mama, you have been going down. Those are like tiny little babies with big ass guns. Not good. Same guy? Oh, he's got some kids now. And he's upgraded his apartment. Never Broke Again presents. I know I want it for the crystal. There's some more, there's some more subtle song right here. He's, he's still shooting people. He's still, he's still violent. I'm putting everything on the line. Dropped out of school to chase my dream. I had some for the proof. Yeah, I like this song right here. A nice little flow to it. But now I'm up and I'm just saying the Benjamins everywhere. Water gotta make it do. I do this shit for my mom and my little brother too. I can't really get all the lyrics, but it sounds like it's at least a little bit more positive. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come on to me. You're living a life now, having fun in the pool now, huh? Ugh, these boys. They look so young. I guess that's part of it, right? In the 80s, back in the day, I was a DJ and I was a hip hop DJ, so I'm gonna like it. I know you can't tell by looking at me now. You see the same guys with him in the videos? That means he's bringing his. He bringing his boys from the hood, like I ain't gonna leave y'all behind. That's what you do. If I make it, then you gonna make it. Try to hide from the camera, hide from the camera. Oh, now he's got the mink stole on. Oh, now he's got fur. Okay, here we go. Bigger necklaces, fluffier jacket. Drive by in the rain. Thanks. Oh, Birdman. Okay. I don't understand the. Uh, the need to flex. He's in the projects now. Now he got the Friaris in here. The glamorous life. And the paparazzi, which you know are his buddies. That's cute. He got that little dog. <laughs> not bad. Honestly, I could listen to that and not be. Disgusted. Slowly but surely, he went from mama's house to the pool parties, you know, getting hotels, getting his suites, popping bottles, and now he's like, this is my house, okay? So he's moving up the ladder. It's still just like videos of him hanging out with his friends. Like, why do I want to go to YouTube and watch a video of you hanging out with your friends when I could just be home hanging out with my friends? Now he's back in maybe what's his old neighborhood. Gone back to his roots. The car choices are pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. I don't understand a lot of this. <laughs> young boys rapping nowadays, man. It's just the vibe is about, you know, the money, the woman. Who is that child stop holding all that money like that? He gonna get robbed doing that. Still point his gun. I mean, maybe that's the genre that, if, you know, people just want that. So lacking originality. I understand the musical side of it, like the, the beat and the lyrics, but uh, I guess I don't really understand the appeal of the culture, the, the, the throwing money around and uh, having these ridiculously lavish vehicles. Play on this bitch, but he ain't playing yeah, no. problems. Yeah, thinking how I'm gonna solve it. Did he get arrested for aggravated assault? Yeah. Don't smoke, buddy. 
it's not good for you. Yeah. Don't tell me that you love me if you ain't gonna die for me. You can stay That's true though. Can't say you got my back. You be ghost, so I get that. He's expressing some emotion now. Okay. Oh, it's a love song. Yeah. Arrested as a fugitive. Are those real headlines, or is this like? I love can solve every problem. Not really. But he can, he can rap though. I give him that. It's a love story, but you know he got the shotgun with you and sniper references and stuff. Nice. And it's not even my like genre of music, but it's got a, a catchy beat to it. Young boy never broke again. Are those his kids? Oh my gosh, how old is he? Oh, the production value went up a lot. <laughs> oh, look at that little baby. Again, with the gun in my face. Stop it. You know me, don't think twice. Instead of doing what's wrong, bitch, you do what's right. Wow. He's got a big house like that. He has to have a washer and dryer. He doesn't have to go to laundromat. These killers around me, they look up to me. These killers around me, they look up to me. He ain't lying either. You really mad that you can't fuck with me? You ex me out, you ain't have to fuck with me. Why you came to fuck with me? Wow. So weak and angry, man. That little baby is cute. Oh. I made her from the heart so you can say what you want. Oh. I like how he progressed. You know, you see from the beginning from his music and see, you know, um, him changing and making more money and etc. I don't understand how in American culture we can think that this is uh, awesome. You don't need to run around pretending to play with guns and assaulting people as a way of uh, portraying your strength. So those songs all came from the rapper NBA Youngboy, also known as Youngboy Never Broke Again. He is a 19 year old up and coming rapper with a few of his songs already going platinum and several of his videos gaining more than 100 million views on YouTube. Wow, okay, he's 19? So overall, what do you think of his music? I think his music for his age and where, he's, where he came from, that's mostly young black guys. You know, that's, that's what they're gonna rap about. They're gonna rap about the street. It's cool. Cause I mean, I, I grew up like that. See, you know, see people around you, you know, growing up like that. Kids who are living in certain areas and they could relate because he's telling stories. He's telling, even though he's 19, he's telling some grown ass stories, things that people are going through. So that's what I like about it. We all have, you know, things that we're angry about and we all have our moments where we have, we just want to let aggression out. And these are really good and like, healthy ways of coping with your anger and coping with your with your issues through music, through things that are creative. A stack of cash, a fancy car, um, you know, bling this and that. I don't get it. I think they could be doing something else with their time. As you heard, many of Youngboy's songs talk about things like gun violence, but also talks about things like family and improving his community. Right. I certainly didn't get that from the visuals in his videos. Well, he stated in some interviews how much he cares about these kind of things, and he emphasizes them a lot in his music. As a parent, what do you think about him incorporating both the hardcore elements of like gun violence as well as family element into his music and bringing it together. I mean, I think that that is reflective of his reality. The best artists do that. I don't know anything about where he's from, but if that's his reality, then that's what he should sing about. And I'm sure that uh, he is working to, you know, make it better for himself, his kids, his family through music. I don't have no problem with it because he's telling the truth. We don't want to see young kids always having guns sitting on a table in music videos or in, in the house. We don't, of course that. But at the same time, it's like, I got to protect myself. And this is where he's from. That's part of it that actually appeals to me because we as people are not one dimensional. I like having different elements of a personal person's personality show through in who they are. I kind of feel like they're mutually exclusive. You can't want to promote uh, empowering your community and growing your community and uh, bettering your community while p also promoting gang drug gangs and gun violence. Well, this is not the first time we've covered young artists with a history of run-ins with the law with the parents. One of our largest episodes on this theme was XXX Tentacion, who was infamously murdered last year. I remember it. There are so many young artists who come from troubled backgrounds whose passions are in the arts. 
So what do you think can be done for us to encourage this level of passion from young musicians while avoiding getting caught up in crime or violence? I, d I don't think it's an easy solution, no matter what comes about. People who are in that environment are looking to do anything to better themselves, to get out of that situation. Gangster rap is always gonna be there because it's always gonna be gangsters. You might not be the gangster yourself, but you're always gonna have them gangsters around you. Art imitates life. So this is all happening regardless of whether people are singing about it, writing about it, creating about it. So I don't know that there's a way to encourage one without the other. Well, just because you come from a troubled background doesn't mean that you have to promote it positively. That's where I think that line in the sand is, is when you can talk about how rough you had it growing up, but not glorifying it, and then not continuing it. So finally, whether or not you appreciate his music, there are many young people out there who connect with it. So what would you say to young fans of NBA Youngboy who are out there who enjoy his music and possibly even idolize him? I guess I would just want to know why. Why is it so moving to you? Why is it so touching? I'd say listen to the positive in it. Everybody has a voice, and if you live in a really hard place, that voice is what you need to you know, put your pain into. So do it. Whoever is following it finds the positive aspects and try to, tries to better themselves in the most possible sense possible. Maybe use it as an, a, as an imagination, as an outlet without you know going like, yeah, and I wanna be that guy too, cause you don't wanna be that guy. Talk to your mom and dad and have them play some really good old school rap or some gangster rap from back in the day and you'll like it way better. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Parents React. Shout out to Matt Obando. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Shout out to Vasco Ones. And make sure you hit that like button if you liked this episode. Bye. Hi guys, JC here, producer here at FB. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also the React channel to see the reactors gaming, competing, and so much more. Check it out. Bye guys.